What up people, Bernie back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to react to Sesame Street, James Gandolfini talks about feeling scared. <laughs> Watch this be funny. I'm like, what the fuck? What is Tony Soprano doing on Sesame Street? <sighs> R.I.P. James Gandolfini. I didn't even know that he was passed. I didn't know he passed away right away. Like when I was watching Sopranos, I didn't know. I found out later. I can't remember when, but... All right, so Sesame Street, James Gandolfini talks about feeling scared. Let's go. <laughs> what scares you? Well, there are three things that scare me, Zoe. Well, what three things scare you? One thing I'm afraid of is the dark. I've always been afraid of the dark. <laughs> you know? But luckily, I have my nightlight, <laughs> teddy bear. Look at him! He has a teddy bear. Well, know what else scares me? Yeah, yeah. What else? Getting a haircut. Really? Yeah. But luckily, the barber gives me a lollipop. That makes me feel better. <laughs> so you see, Zoe, sometimes I get scared too. Yeah. Well, what, what else are you afraid of? Giant talking vegetables. <laughs> what? Giant talking vegetables? Hey, excuse me! Watch it! <laughs> so cute! Yeah, but that giant talking vegetable scared me. Oh. I know what to do to make you feel better. Yeah, what? This. No oh, hugs. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, this fixes it. This fixes it. <sighs> oh, that was so cute. Look at James Gandolfini. He said that he's afraid of the dark. He's afraid of haircuts, and he's afraid of talking vegetables. Large talking vegetables. <laughs> that was cute, though. Oh. James Gandolfini. Let me see. Can I find another video <clears throat> on James Gandolfini? Oh, he was on Saturday Night Live. Okay. So James Gandolfini, Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live. Well, let's go. One of the big stories that we missed this summer was New Jersey Governor Jim McGreevy's announcement that he is gay. To get the local perspective on the issue, Weekend Update would now like to present an editorial from this New Jersey resident. <laughs> what is he holding? <laughs> Something he stole. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for letting me... What is that, a DVD player? You know, my appreciation. A DVD player? <laughs> Uh, Samuel, it's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah, nice. I, and if I knew you were going to be here, I would have brought one for you too, sweetheart. Oh, that's okay. I'm good. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Tony the Ho. Okay, so, um, so uh, your editorial about Jim McGreevy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm getting to it. Look, I don't want to talk about this McGreevy stuff, but I, I can't keep my mouth shut anymore. I mean, so the guy's a fanook. <laughs> Big deal, he had an affair. Every married guy's got some action on the side. In this case, in the behind. <laughs> but instead of just paying the guy's rent and banging him in the penguin house in the zoo, the greedy puts his tomorrow on a payroll. And I think uh, oh, I'll I'll interrupt me when I'm talking. <laughs> I was saying, you never mix business with pleasure. <laughs> People also feel that going to Pell because of his rent. Come on, you got a nice face. <laughs> yes, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Well, use your head. <laughs> anyway, I, I the guy he wants to laugh. Big mistakes. Everybody knows the big guys handle security, and the Jews watch the money. 
Oh God! You're not stereotype people. No, you were one of the uh, chosen people. <laughs> I'm not, but you, you can't say stuff like that. I just did. <laughs> <laughs> it was very nice meeting you and the mouthy one. I'm not so sure. The mouthy one. <laughs> That's what happens when you have Tony Soprano on SNL. <laughs> he plays that character too good. That is the scariest man I have ever been attracted to. <laughs>